Greetings and welcome back to Rimworld. So let us continue. We were trying to extend this growing zone here. Well, not exactly growing zone, but the uh, makeshift hydroponics. We need to get this salt watery, uh, salt water battery. <laughs> we need to get this built. And then we can try and build a heater. I'm going to put it here because it seems to be somewhat out of the way. And then... Oh, now what do we got? A cluster of cargo pods. Well, well what the hell is this? Oh, right. Paved tile. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, meanwhile, you can see what a paved tile is. At least as a... As a resource, but well, I don't think, well, it's actually right nearby. Yeah, sure, let's go pick it up. This is like the uh, the last item I added to the mod pack. Uh, well, it's not exactly a mod pack, it's just a, a mod. I totally didn't recognize it at first. Oh, uh, now what do you got? Oh, Candice's birthday. Hooray! <laughs> okay, and we need this build. And what do we need? Iron and copper. We should have enough of both. Although, someone still hasn't mined that. Uh, let's get Hasnain to do that again. We're actually gonna need quite a bit more copper from now on, since we start to build some uh, electrical stuff. No, oh, actually it was enough. That's good. But it doesn't have enough power. But uh, what we can do is we can reconnect this one. Now it's connected to this and... Okay, this one isn't close enough. Well, that's that sucks. I might need to make one power conduit. It is gonna eat up... 10 power, which isn't good, but... I guess I can afford it. Yep, there we go, now it works. And now this thing should work as well. But I will put a door in there. Well, two doors anyway. Because while it's uh, it's not exactly great if this room is, is cold, this one has to be heated anyway. Otherwise the plants won't grow. There we go. Now they should start heating up, which is good. I was also thinking about perhaps making use of the steam geyser as some sort of, I don't know, natural heating source. But it's a little bit tricky to try and set it up right, because if the room connected to it is too small, it's gonna get way too hot. And if it's, well, too big, it's never gonna heat up, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a mess. And it also depends why the bit on, uh, on the outside temperature temperature so uh okay we got another squirrel i might also build some batteries outside two of them to oh great oh great a blight yeah okay i hate blights <laughs> and i think it's too cold now outside yes it is so uh, we can't grow anything here Let's get rid of them, to make sure that no one actually spends time there. And we gotta get rid of this squirrel. Has name. Well, I guess you can beat up a squirrel. Can't be that incompetent. Right, now he's gonna spend uh, the rest of the day in the hospital. Well, if you can call it a hospital anyway. A first aid station and a bed, that's about it. We're gonna have to work on that as well. But there's plenty of stuff to do. And building a hospital ain't one of it. Not right now, anyway. Okay, that's, uh, that's a little worse than a squirrel, I suppose. Wow, it's uh, six of them. Oh, okay, let's... Uh, and they attack immediately. Yeah, so that was exactly why I was planning on building some salt water batteries outside. Well, outside in a building anyway. And hooking up some turrets, but I can't build a turret yet anyway. I need to get gunsmithing and then I can 
build turrets. And I even think I need steel for turrets. Although I'm not sure anymore. Okay, so we got some food, but uh, yeah, food might be an issue. But if we're lucky, these guys are gonna drop some food, so... Uh, okay, let's first check if everyone is armed. Well, Candice can't fight, so she doesn't have to. We get the Nuzi, uh, an Enfield, M16, pistol, Uzi, pistol, and Lou has nothing. Let's get him a pistol. And uh, I've also noticed that Vector has cataract. Or, well, no, no. He lost an eye, so yeah, he probably can't shoot that, that good anyway. So I'm thinking of giving the M16 to someone that actually has two eyes. Maybe that will improve the chance of actually hitting something. So uh, let's take a quick look at the stats if I can find it. Yes, there we go. So Vector. Uh, shooting accuracy isn't isn't too good. So that's per square, so uh, <laughs> one square is, seems to be doable, but once you get about to about five, it's it's getting terrible. So let's see if someone has some better better stats. Someone that's good at shooting. Oh, here we go, Hippo actually has good stats. Yeah, let's give him the, the M16. And I need someone else to be pretty good at shooting. There we go, blue. Yeah, okay. I guess you could get the... Actually, let's give you the M16. Vector, uh, drop the M16. Now blue gets it. And I might also have him drop the armor. For blue. Alright, and Vector is gonna have to pick up the pistol then. But other than that, we should be pretty well armed and we should actually be able to stand against these guys. What do they have anyway? Is this an LMG? Oh yeah. Okay. And another LMG and a sniper and a nosy. So a bit of everything, just like our guys. So let's actually, yeah, let's actually draft everyone. Actually, we should treat Hasnain. Nah, he'll be fine. We need guns out there. So let's get Hippo out there. Let's get Blue over here, maybe. We'll need some people in the, in the middle. Let's see what we can do. Who else isn't doing anything? Oh right, has name. Let's actually keep you inside for now as some sort of backup. All right, so they will get over here. Hippo should have a good shot at them. Uh, Neville might have to get a bit closer. Let's maybe keep Mara's backup since she only has a pistol. Let's actually get blue over there. Oh, Frank, you moron. Uh, well, I guess I'm the moron here. Okay, let's let you run away. <laughs> oh crap, Frank is down. All right, what else are we doing? Uh, has Nain. Let's actually get you to flank him. Neville isn't doing too good. All right, what can we do? So, they are still all alive, I think. Or not. Maybe get Mel to flank. All right, one is down. That kind of frees up Neville. Well, anyway, that uh, doesn't, since they have a sniper there. Okay, has name. Let's uh, get you over there. Vector, 
Oh, right, you don't have a weapon. Go pick up uh, Frank's Uzi. Actually, get the damn minigun. And Hosnane is down. Oh, or, oh, Penny is running away. Let's get Nivel a bit closer, and he's going after Mal. Alright, what's happening? Nothing. Okay, that's uh, an eerie silence. Let's get Blue to try and shoot this guy. Then we got Victor right there. Do they have any more people? I'm only seeing these two. This guy is running away. I must have lost track of someone. Not sure. Oh, shit. Oh, right, he's still there. I'm hoping Blue can... Yes, okay. <laughs> that was great. Okay, now they are all, all running away. Wow, alright, so... Um, this has name dead. Unconscious, okay. Oh, Neville is dead. Damn it. He was so useless. <laughs> oh, okay, two people down. Let's get a few medical beds, I suppose. And yeah, Candice. Go rescue him. Uh, Hippo. Go rescue Frank. Blue. Go uh, arrest this guy. Now what else we got? Is this guy alive? Yes, he is. Vector can take in this guy. And... Oh, this guy's uh, alive as well. Let's capture him. So we got three prisoners. That's... Uh, Quite a lot. Oh, crap. I did it again. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't actually do anything bad. So, yeah. Uh, Neville is dead. Wow, we're losing people quite fast in this series. But let's quickly steal his stuff and put him under the ground. And you're no hauler. Let's uh, allow you to... Oh, right. And you can't haul. I'm always going to forget, I think. Let's meanwhile get the parka and uh, the hat. That's good. Alright, so who's live? Vector. You go haul him. And you're no hauler. Yeah, that's right. You're useless as well. Okay, so who's gonna haul? Blue. Yeah, okay, you uh, go bury Neville. Then the rest of you, I suppose, can get back to whatever business you were going to. Undraft. Uh, anyone else need undrafting? Nope, alright. So, we lost one person, but uh, we got three prisoners, so let's see how that goes. We do need a lot of food again. And we don't have any at all. Let's actually start building some more of these basins. So let's see, uh, let's make sure I do it right this time. There we go. That should work. Someone will build it eventually, hopefully. We are running low on food again, that's not good. But uh, as I said, they have brought some meals, so that's good. Any more meals? Oh, right here. So, alright. Let's continue and let's actually check out these prisoners. So, 95, that's uh, quite difficult. 81, 61, let's certainly allow this one to be recruited. And even get some medicine. It's just these uh, 
first aid kits anyway, which are pretty easy to make. And let's put it back to double speed. Let's see, Hood, are you? Uh, you're actually quite useful. They're actually all quite good. Okay, so let's allow Hood to be recruited as well. Let's keep the other one in there for now. But let's actually allow for a... Which is it? Friendly chat? Yeah, sure, to keep their mood up so that they don't snap. Okay, this is getting built. That's nice. I should be able to... Oh, now what do we got? Blue. Or why are you getting exhausted? Oh, right. Because you don't have any bed. Let's give this one to blue. Because Frank has a bed anyway. <laughs> Go to bed, you bum. Okay. So, anyone else don't have a bed? Uh, Vector should have a bed. Yes, he has. And a solar flare. Oh. Shut down all electrical devices. Damn. Sucks. <laughs> Especially since this shuts down the heater as well. So I'm hoping this room stays. Now what do we got? Top. Okay. Really? Why are you. You don't even have any bad thoughts. That's weird. No thoughts at all. That's uh, suspicious. Okay, let's get these guys to go outside and. Okay, maybe not. Let's just let them beat up this guy. Well. Okay, he's down. All right. So what's his problem? Imprisoned? Yeah. Uh, wounded in darkness. Actually, uh, let's quickly build a campfire here. A coal one, we should have enough coal, so that should heat up the room. Let's put it right there, next to the heater. That might be able to heat your room at least until the solar flare is down, or, well, gone. Alright, he was gonna build it, that's great. I'm not entirely sure how long a campfire lasts, but it should be enough. Yes, it's uh, heating up now. That's great, because I didn't want all these scrubs to die. And Beatrice has an infection. Okay. Oh, great. Now what do we got? Uh, Candice. Very tired. Well... You have a bed, so go sleep. Yeah, there we go. And I'm probably very much out of food now. So, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna go bad. I wonder how many people are gonna starve, uh, die of starvation. Wait, this is supposed to be his name's bed. And, yeah, he's over here. Uh, okay. Is he even getting treated? Okay. Oh, crap. He got shot in the brain. That's not very good now, is it? Uh, what's Mal's problem? Oh, still the cataract. Alright, but other than that, it seems like everyone is... Uh, well, doing somewhat fine. These guys aren't. Frank, let's get you... And the hospital bed. And who else we got here? We got Vector and Blue. So this is Blue and he isn't doing too well either. So uh, let's make his bed into a medical bed. And get him to rest. And Vector should be fine. All right. 
right, now let's make sure that no one dies of starvation. Is there anything I can hunt here? There doesn't seem to be much alive. Oh, there's a, a rabbit. Or, well, a hare. Let's hunt it. And anything else? You know what, I'm just going to do it this way. It's difficult to see. Uh, well, oh, right, here we go. Let's see, anything... Oh, we got something there. I don't want to go too far. Alright, oh, so seems like there's not a lot to hunt. We got two things, a uh, squirrel and a uh, and hare. And who's hunting anyway? I guess no one is. Vector could hunt, but he's actually taking care of pretty much everyone. I guess we'll let Hippo hunt, he should have a good shot. So let's let you hunt first and then cook, since you don't have anything to cook with anyway. Well, that was fast. Oh, and Mala's hunting as well. That's fine. If you can manage to shoot anything. Anyway. Uh, let's get you a bit closer. Oh, and you're going crazy. Because you're, you're a brawler that has a ranged weapon. Well, okay. Fine. Um, drop the pistol. And get yourself a knife. We should have one somewhere. Yeah, right here. Oh, great. Duff has a mental break. Again. Really, what's his problem? I don't get it. Vector, uh, go beat up Duff. Oh, crap, he killed. Food. Okay, that's just a... A prisoner. Vector. Great. Uh, yeah, and Candice can can't fight. Okay, good. He won. And let's get you. All oh, right, we don't have a bed. Let's set it as medical, and that should allow you to go. And he's still hunting. So yeah, did we actually cook anything? I'm not entirely sure, and I bet she's starving. Yes, she is. So I'm not sure if we cooked anything. Okay, um, butcher this first. Let's disable hunting for now, and let you cook that. Oh, we don't have enough. Well, that sucks. And these plants are almost grown. Yeah, we got one. Uh, Mal. Okay, you're harvesting. That's good. Yeah, and people are breaking because they are hungry. So, what do we do with you? Ugly environment, cramped environment. Eight of the ground and in darkness. Uh, so, okay, if I get you in here, you should feel better, maybe? Ah, Tuff is going crazy again. But he got beat up by someone. Okay, so now she's feeling a little bit better. Meanwhile, perhaps you can... I don't know. Pull some of this stuff. Maybe I should build a light here, to uh, light up everything. Let's see now. Standing lamp. Uh, where can we put this thing? Over there, perhaps? And can you build that? Yes, you can. But, oh, yeah. That's actually a 
a dumb decision because I don't have any electricity. So we only have uh, 120. Actually, we do have 120. How do we have that much? Well, I guess I screwed this one up. <laughs> the heater only needs 100 watt, uh, 10 watts. Yeah, that should have been 100. So, yeah. Well, that's one uh, thing to fix next uh, for the next episode. And anyway, seems like we've gone on long enough for uh, this one anyway. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And maybe next episode we'll see everyone started it. So uh, see you next time.